State Department will not restrict military aid to an Israeli military unit accused of human rights violations after determining the violations were, quote, effectively remediated. The decision comes months after the U.S. accused the Natsar Yehuda Battalion of violations against Palestinians in the West Bank, which occurred before the war in Gaza. In April, the U.S. said four other Israeli security units, also accused of human rights violations, had effectively remediated them as well. The State Department says remediation includes two soldiers from the battalion being removed from combat position and marked as ineligible for the reserves. Enhanced screening requirements for those recruited to the Netzer Yehuda, which is an Orthodox Jew brigade, and new control mechanisms during training. It's unclear when those measures were taken and when the information was provided to the U.S. The State Department deputy spokesperson was pressed about the latest case. We've determined that the, that violations by this unit um, have been effectively remediated consistent with the Leahy process. Will these individuals be prosecuted in Israel? That is uh, up for, that's not for the United States to speak to, that's for, uh, it's a question for the Israeli justice have system. Have you sought that from them? Uh, again, that's a question for the Israeli justice system, that's not something I would speak yes, to from up for here. Israeli settlers, for example, in the West Bank, you have taken action when they haven't prosecuted them. So. Are you applying the same criteria to this one or not? So uh, these are uh, a little bit different circumstances.